Hello, happy Monday. How are you guys doing? I am doing great. Uh, we're here, so I'm doing great. Uh, okay, so quick news. Uh, the girl that I had for tonight, she's not coming. Uh, there's a girl that might be coming, but in an hour. So for, for an hour, you just got me uh, real quick. I'm not sure. I, I'm going to let you know. She, she says she's uh, checking her plans right now to make sure she can make it at 10. If she can't, then there is no show. I apologize. Uh, the girl canceled on me uh, an hour and a half ago. So I've been looking for, for more girls and uh, everybody is already doing something, you know. Uh, that, that's, that's what it is. So, so it's just me. It's just me right now. Let me say hello. I know you guys are, are annoyed, just as I am. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why is somebody already talking shit? She busy doing OnlyFans. I, I don't know. I, that, that's not what she said. I, I mean, not that she would tell me, probably. Um, you guys, she was a prostitute anyway. Do better, Melly. Fuck you. <laughs> How you decided she was a prostitute? I doubt it. She looked like a nice girl. So um, I know, I know everybody on my case already. Come on, Melly. Uh, uh, let me date you. Okay, that's a different one. She canceled. Well, the, the one that is supposed to come tonight, like right now, she canceled. But I'm working on somebody else right now. She says she might be ready for 10 o'clock. So hopefully, I'm sorry, it's uh, later. But uh, I didn't want to leave you hanging all the way and just be like, okay, no show. I'm not even coming. So I, I said, I'll be here. Um, see, if cancel girls, mama is available. What? Who, who is that? Uh, uh, hello, lovers. Yes, I know. Uh, chemistry is already with the, with the shit. She say, if you want to ask Melly a question, please send a $5 super chat. Are we doing that? Are we doing a little uh, Q&A while we wait for, um, I think you would like the, the new one too, the new girl. She working the pool. You guys have issues. Um, it's all right. She gave strippers vibe and only fans vibes. You guys are so judgmental. From the picture, you decided all of that. Fuck them hoes. You guys, <laughs> you guys are outrageous tonight. You know, damn, I'm mad we... we I mean, I hope we're going to have a show, but you guys are already on 100, so I think we would have a nice show in the chat. Um, the only thought model uh, canceled. Stop it. Uh, chemistry is hating on No Chill Girl. Why is she hating? She's, I, I don't know. Chemistry saying some shit? Um, I don't know. I don't know. Well, uh, before we start, so yes, we're going to do what chemistry said. If uh, you guys want to ask me a question, you can uh, send a $5 super chat. I'll answer. I still have some other questions from Instagram that we can do. Um, but wait, I wanted to say something else. Uh, yes, I wanted to say uh, Costa Rica. Yes, guy, Costa Rica is uh, filling up. I was able to extend the, the date for you to be able to, to sign up. So uh, the link is in the description of this video. You can just click it and see what's up over there, what we would be doing and everything. Bring the pole dancer. Oh my God, Did, I, have I ever had a pole dancer before? Um, uh, I don't know. Somebody said she's seen the, the chat before and the past episode, so she left. Uh, so she decided to not come. I don't know if that's what it was. I don't think so. Uh, oh my God. Um, all right, we got, we got some questions already. So I guess I have to pull up my other questions. Uh, Melly, who was your favorite troll, the kid with the glasses and bandana hiding his face or hot boy? Hot boy, of course. The, the kid with bandana, don't be doing shit besides yelling. That's all he does. Hot boy actually comes with like a whole act. So obviously I'm gonna say hot boy. Why is somebody else? you guys talking so much shit about Costa Rica? Nobody is smashing, I mean smashing me in Costa Rica. I'm trying to bring some girls. I'm trying to bring um uh, to have other girls there or the, the locals, you can smash them. Me, I'm not for smash. Um 
All right. What else you you guys talking about? Um, so that's that. So I wanted to say that. Uh, I'm a. Why is this show called the Pineapple Show? You still don't know? Okay, maybe maybe you're new here. So it is called the Pineapple Show because when the girl doesn't like you or doesn't feel the vibe, she says pineapple, and then you get kicked out. That's kind of like the safe word, kind of. It's being uh, overused and abused, but that, that is the safe word. Um, is Jennifer coming? Of course, Jennifer is coming to Costa Rica. Yes. Um, oh, that's what you guys are saying. Bring on the mother. She looked better than the daughter. So I guess the, the girl, um, Kiana, that I had for tonight, she, she does something mother-daughter type of stuff. And you guys talking shit. I see. All right. Um, I see some people. I see Jake. Jake, the, the girl is not here. So I don't know if you want to talk to me. I don't know. I don't know what's up. Um, <laughs> but she's not coming. Not this girl, actually. But maybe uh, the other girl. She saw my message. She didn't respond. So I don't know. We're going we're gonna to check it out. But if not, you know, we'll do a quick, uh, a quick, Q and A, and then we can leave. Um, let's see. I, I wanna, I wanna see if uh, who who is this, Mr. Jake? Hi, Jake. Hey, Melly. How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing good. So what happened? Uh, I just joined. Did she not just change her mind or what? Um, yeah, she's not coming. <laughs> she's not coming. But I'm working on another girl. She says she might be able to make it in an hour. Mm -hmm. So for now it's just me here, um, talking, okay. talking to my people. Can I ask you a question? Of course. So um, I just started watching you, man. I love your show, by the way. Thank I'm you. just curious, like in your last relationship, um, how long ago was it? Uh, we broke up um, 2020. It was like the pandemic. When the pandemic hit a little bit after, so like June 2020, I think. Okay. So in that last relationship, what is one thing that you feel like you could have done better? Ooh. Um, I could have been more upfront about what I didn't like, mm -hmm. or uh, I should have left a long time ago. And I just, I just stayed a little longer, a while, uh, actually. That's funny. Like a woman like you, and I expect that a woman like you would, you know, be ready to move on to the next option. So I guess that says a lot about you. You're willing to stick in there a little bit, right? I mean, uh, <laughs> you say to move on to the next option. It wasn't like like that. You know, I wasn't, I don't entertain other people when I talk to someone. So so that's why I didn't see the other options. I was just like, eh, maybe it's me. Maybe I got to work on it. Maybe I'll get over it. Maybe, you know, the, the spark will come back and it just didn't come back. So I, I was like, I got to go. I got you. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. What about you? Um, It's been a minute. It's been about a year. Um, It was a long distance thing. So I wasn't really interested in doing that for a super long time. And we hadn't really made plans to come together. Um, So I'm like, you know, I, I figure I might as well just hopefully find an option that's nearby. So, I mean, long distance is really tough. I don't know if you had a, if you've ever done that before, but it's not something that you want to do for a long time, you know? No, that's, I, I'm not doing that. That's yeah. a fact. I mean, I did it when I first moved to America. I had a, a boyfriend back home and it was just tough. Like I need to see my dude all the time. So. Right. Yeah. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. So what is, what are some of the things that are different with guys here compared to where I'm assuming you're from like Europe? Yeah, I'm from Paris. Okay. Are there any things that you can like recognize off the bat that's different from us here? Mm -hmm. uh, here guys, I'm not so much into relationships or at <laughs> least the guys that I've encountered, they're not into relationships in France. It's, I say it all the time. If, if you, if we kiss, we're together. So here it's very different. I had to learn that that's how it works. Yeah, it's levels to it here, right? <laughs> what did you say? I said it's levels to it here, you know? Sure, for sure. Mm -hmm. but I think it's, I think how it is here is very hypocritical 
and you know you do almost everything or you do everything but we're not together you know <laughs> right like, this is weird but hey that's how yeah. we i don't make the rules man i just live by them you know <laughs> whatever you don't gotta go by the rules <laughs> <laughs> yeah so mm -hmm. But yeah, it's it's been great talking to you. Um, I'll probably stick on, and you know, we'll see if I can get on with the next person if if they ever come up. Or man, I'm gonna have to try again next time. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. Oh wait, I wanted to tell you the chat is saying you look like the female version of Issa Rae. You've heard that before. <laughs> Issa Rae, the female version of Issa Rae. Uh, no, you are the male version. I'm sorry, the oh. male version of Issa Rae. The male version of I've never heard of that. They said that I look like that character off of off of that uh, insecure show, but never compared to her. So that's <laughs> <true>. <laughs> hey. But um, I guess I'll take it. I don't know if that's a compliment. I think she's beautiful. I love you, so right. So I'll take it. Mm -hmm. And now they're <laughs> saying moist chestnut. So okay, well, that's right. I, could, I could do worse, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you so much. Hopefully, she comes and you can talk to her. All right. I'll see you later. All right. Bye. All right, uh, you guys got jokes at all time. It's a Dre. You guys are. Done. <laughs> I'm done. Wait, I'm checking if she didn't say nothing. No, she's not responding. Um. So yeah, uh, the chat hating is a zaddy. He's cute as hell. I agree with you. Um. Look, <laughs> you guys be. <laughs> I'm just talking, but I'm wet as fuck. Apparently. I wasn't aware. Um, I didn't even get to say hi to everyone because you guys went, went all in right away. Uh, Mandy, you are blushing. Am I? I don't know. So you guys, do you want to do the answers, the Q&A? She needs to pay her phone bill. Who, who's that? Who needs to pay her phone bill? Uh, men's work at Best Buy. What's wrong with working at Best Buy, A-Tech? Um, it looks like the tambourine player from the roots. <laughs> you guys, enough, enough. Uh, all right, let me see. Let me see some of the questions I had. Um, I don't know. I, I I read some and I'm like, I can't I can't do this. Will you marry me? Well, I don't know you, so that's a no. Uh, are you related to Leo Dirk? We're still on Leo Dirk. Uh, no, I am not. Uh, wait, what you said? Is Derek Jackson? Shit, I can see. I can see it. You guys are going in already. Uh, what else? Do you want to visit the Bahamas with me? I've been to the Bahamas. Sorry, that's where I went. No, yes, I went to the Bahamas. Already, sorry. Um, I don't know. Wow, somebody talking about recently got laid off. Would you happen to have an extra room or uh, or know someone? I will pay. But I'm sorry to hear that. I do not have an extra room. And uh, I don't know anyone who is looking for a roommate. Uh, do you sleep with the cover on you or near you? On. It'd be freezing. Um, what else? How do I join the pineapple show? Well, the link is in the description of this video. Uh, the only problem is that uh, we don't have a girl until maybe 10 o'clock Eastern time. So... Um, Should I look for a wife overseas versus the U.S.? I don't know. You know, I, every time I talk or I say shit, people are like, yeah, passport bros, whatever, whatever. I believe there is good women in America. And the same as I believe there is bad women in Europe. It's just, you know, you and your luck, I think. I mean, it is also a mentality thing, you know, and a cultural thing. So maybe it's more of the women here with that money mentality because that's how they're raised. But uh, yeah, back home it's a little less. Like I've never heard that. It was in the movies that I would see housewives and I was like, what is she doing? She don't get a job? 
And people be like, no, she takes care of the kids. You know, that was in the movies. Back home, everybody works. My mom worked, my, my stepdad worked, my dad worked, everybody worked. Um, so, oh my God, you guys are out of control. Do not waste time with American women. They're useless. Whoa, you're going a little far on this one. Um, what else? American women hungry hoes. <laughs> you guys, I don't know why you, I don't know. You guys going in. Um, somebody talking about, save me a seat for the Costa Rica trip. I'm just waiting for my passport to come back. Well, uh, I, it's still room, so, but hurry up. Last one, I guess he sent me a bunch of questions I didn't see. Uh, what are your measurements? I don't really know my measurements because uh, I don't model. So I think only models be knowing the measurement. only know my bra size. That's the only thing I know. Um, all right, we got a question. During the first approach, thank you, my own world. Uh, how to tell the difference between a feminine woman as opposed to a masculine woman? I think you can tell a woman that is feminine. It's, I don't know, it's what she exudes. I don't think it's, um, I don't know. When you first meet her, maybe she's a little, I don't know, because I'm a little feisty, not combative, but a little feisty. You know, if you come with jokes, I'm a joke too. So does that make me masculine? I don't think so. I think it's an it's a energy thing. You should, you should feel it. Um, well, is that a real question? Somebody said, hey, everybody needs advice. But to me, it's really like about uh, what you feel. Like you, you feel that from her. What is RBF? If she gives you RBF, please, somebody tell me what RBF is. Um, what is RBF? Someone? I don't know. I may have to, to go Google. All right, you guys taking too long. RBF meaning. Let me see. Resting beach face. Okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Because some women, some people might tell me I have one when I just, I'm just regular. It's just not smiling it looks like i might be mean or something so so i don't know if that's if that's the case <laughs> that that's what it means for you uh, sharif real bad fellatio that that's what it means for you okay well <laughs> i guess somebody say red blue okay so some people found it okay I'm done. <laughs> I'm glad I went and looked for myself because I would be wondering, is that really what it is? Red, red bone fuckery. I'm done. <laughs> um, oh, okay. Well, Rich Bleasy, thank you so much. Your only asset is your eyes. Other than that, you are not attractive. Thank you, Rich. I appreciate you. At least I got eyes. I, I got lucky. I got something. Um, let me see. Uh, oh, there's more questions. You guys send questions. Uh, what come with the Costa Rica trip? Uh, not your girl. Hello. What comes with the Costa Rica trip if we book? Um, so it's a uh, hotel transfer from the airport. So I think it's three hotels three transfers because we go to different places in, um, in, uh, we go to different places in, uh, in Costa Rica and, uh, there's some adventures, forest, waterfalls, uh, bars, there's dinners. It's a bunch of shit. So if you want to come get your ticket, oh uh, yeah, the, the plane ticket is not included. Sorry. You got to take care of that. Um, Dia just asking, hello, have you noticed the new people don't enjoy people getting pineapple as much as your original crew? Also, there is a woman in the chat who is willing to come on. Really? Who? 
Tell her to click the link in the description. Who is she? I, I didn't see her. Well, I don't know if the old people, the, the new people don't enjoy the pineapple. I don't care. At this point, I do not care what people like and what they don't like. This is the show. So hopefully you keep watching. Uh, but tell her to click the link. If there is a girl that, that wants to come now, girl, put your camera on so I can know, I can see you're a girl and then we can start the show. What is the biggest lesson uh, that dating has taught you? Ooh, that's a good one, Scotch Bonnet. Um, let me see. Um, I don't even fucking know. Mm. I don't know. I have some bad ones. That telling the truth is not the way to go because motherfuckers cannot handle. I shouldn't say that. That is not a good one. You should tell the truth. Um, mm. Oh, yeah. That's when you think that this is the one and then you figure out that it's not going to work out and like you're heartbroken, it's going to pass. Like, I don't know. Is that a lesson? I don't fucking know if that's a lesson. But um, to me, it's been easier to handle like heartbreak and stuff like that because I'm just like, oh, it's going to pass. You're not going to be sad forever. And you're going to find something else, something better, someone better. And you're going to be like, I'm glad it didn't work out. So instead of being all sad for months, I'm sad maybe for a week or two. And then we move on, you know. So, so maybe, maybe that's, that's one thing I would say. Um, FYI, Melly, the term pineapple refers to a complex or swinger relationship status for couples. Well, thank you, Soul Weapon. Um, swing your relationship status for couple. So what? So when we're not comfortable with you doing some craziness in the bedroom with somebody else, then we say pineapple and then you got to stop. Is that what it is? I don't know. Uh, Dia just asking, thank you for the $5. Ask Gil what happened when he said d way can shoot. Well, uh, girl, you heard, if you're still here. Um, what happened? Well, what happened when you said that? All right, let's see. Um, who is the girl who wanted to come on here? Tell her to pull up. Let's see. Yeah, that, the other lady that, went, that might come didn't answer. She, she read the message, but now she didn't say... Let me see. I'm going to ask her. Should I count on you? Um, all right. Meli, who was your favorite male co-host? Well, I haven't had a lot. Unless you're talking about uh, when we were doing the... Um, what was the name of the show? I forgot again. <laughs> My memory is fucked up. Uh, The Lover's Hotline. Whoa, I couldn't find it. The Lover's Hotline. Um, favorite co-host? Mm, I don't, again, I didn't have that many, unless we're talking about that show. But I would say, I like 9-11 Baby Goat. I liked, um, I don't, you probably don't even remember. All these people were my friends. You guys don't remember. Um, Dirty Harry need to pull up and rap. Oh, I forgot about him. Are you Pepe Le Pew brothers from Looney Tunes? Really? That's the joke? Okay, sir. Um, Melly, have any of your past boyfriend ever beat you up? Oh, wow. That's a question. Uh, no, never. Never happened. Please get this show on the road. That would be cool, but it would be so much work. You know, I'm not trying to work harder. Um, but hey, if there is a team that, that want to help me and take it on the road, why not? I'll do that. Uh, my own world. Thank you for the $5. Who is more delusional in 2023? The eight, nine, ten women 
who are surviving off their looks or the high value men who watch Red Pill content? <laughs> um, I don't know. I mean, are the, are the eight, nine, 10 really delusional? They're not delusional. You motherfuckers want bitches who look good. So they're not delusional. They're getting you. So how is that delusional? It, it works for them. Yes, they're relying on their looks. And they know they are. When they say that it's not that they get more to offer or whatever. I mean, some of them probably do. But I believe they do know they're using their looks. Yeah. So, so I, I would say then the high value men who watch real content. I don't know. I'm trying to really think. I don't, I don't know. Because I don't, ah, I don't know. Red Peel is, I don't know. I'm not Red Peel, so. Mm. <laughs> This chat full of mental patients. And I think A-Tech, you're one of them because you be talking so much shit. So much fucking shit. Meli is full of shit. Oh, okay. Well, thank you, Takim. Um, thank you very much. There are no high-value men who would watch her content. Okay. Thank you. The chat is not red pill, somebody said. Um, all right. Who else? Who said that we had a girl coming in? Where's she at? All right, let me see. Okay, somebody said something else. The eight, nine, ten are delusional because they think a high value man will want to be monogamous. Oh, yes, if we're being precise on that point. Okay. Hmm. I'm wondering, you guys really think that high, no, there is no high value man who wants to be monogamous? Put a one in the chat if you think that there are high value men that want to be monogamous, and a two if you think that no, it's not possible. High value men are not men, I said. High value men are not looking for a monogamous relationship. Please, one, one, one point five, one. Wait, what I said? One is they are looking for monogamy? I forgot what I said already. One, one. Okay. So it's mostly one. Okay. Two, it depends on their situation. One, one. It's a bunch of one. It's more one than, than twos. So I guess one wins. Uh, all right, still, so you, you just sound like Pepe Le Pew. Thank you. Definitely depends. Okay. More twos than ones. No, I saw more, t uh, more ones. Healthy men and women want something solid. Okay. Somebody talking about, Melly, you, what you eat for dinner tonight? I don't know. I haven't yet. It's only six o'clock over here. Shauna, Shauna Brown. Hey, girl. Melly, what do you think about Fresh and Fit getting demonetized by YouTube? They did? Oh, that's wow. Uh, I hope they make their money somewhere else because if that was the only platform they were on, ooh. They said that? That's why, why? Because they be talking too much mess and talking crazy to girls. What, what is it? Um, okay, some of you are saying fresh and fit are annoying. Um, a tech, a tech, you gotta chill. A tech, where is uh, what's his name? Uh, Jose, Jose, moderator. Jose, I haven't been here lately. I don't know. Uh, she ate my beef for dinner. You're disrespectful, A Tech. Um, Miss Natural, I know why. What you know, girl? They got a permanent ban. It's the second strike. Oh, that sucks. 
I mean, I'll never be happy for uh, for a content creator to get their shit demonetized because that shit happened to me several times and it's heartbreaking. So I don't know what they did, but hey, that sucks. Melly, thank you, Life with a H. You got to send me a voice note on how to say your name because I still don't every time. Melly, do you believe in love? And if so, what do you desire in that love from a man? Yes, I believe in love. Um, what do you desire in that love? Uh, I desire respect, uh, laughter, support, attention, a lot of attention. Yes, I need attention. Again, attention. Um, what else? Uh, touch. Touch, yeah. <laughs> you got to touch me. Uh, fun. What else? Uh, I would like to have uh, common goals that we can accomplish. That would be cool. What else? Mm, kids. Duh. I want kids. From a man. Yeah, well, I want all of that from a man. I don't want to date a woman. So uh, somebody said they spoke about LGBTQ. And they got banned? Damn. See, you can't you can talk about that, that community. It's better they got banned. You guys cannot be happy on people's downfall. What's your favorite comfort food? McDonald's. McDonald's for the win. Um, or just... Um, I don't know, some home-cooked meal, like from my mom or stuff like that. Uh, any offers for marriage, Meli? Yes, I, I've had, I, I received uh, some, some offers, uh, but from men that I don't know, most of them. So, so that won't work. That won't work, I think. Uh, you guys ain't shit. You guys are happy about people getting the... Sorry, demonetize. That sucks. Um, yeah, so she hasn't responded. We'll see if she shows up in 30 minutes. If she doesn't, you know, we'll, we'll just be out. This shirt as a mod. <laughs> I mean, we're still pretty open. We want you to be able to express yourself, but I know some of you would just be out of pocket all the time. You guys got to gotta chill. Uh, why did you get demonetized? Uh, so it wasn't this channel. It was uh, a previous channel. It was called Sarah and Melanie Live. I still have it. Uh, it got 500,000 subs, but it's demonetized. It was deleted. I got it back. Then got demonetized, got it back, monetized, and demonetized. I was like, okay, this is done. This channel is not working out. Um, so they were telling me that I was uh, using other people's content. So it was copyright, copyright all the time. And um, yeah, eventually they took it and gave it back. But now it's not monetized. So I don't post. Kill switch. Uh, Kill switch want to marry me already? Kill switch. Pull up. Click the link in the description. Let's, let's see. Let's see what, what you want to talk about. Because uh, yes, why not? I'm going to get married. Kind of not, uh, but if you if you're a great guy and you do want to get married and we're dating, I will marry you. So kill switch, come. I like the haircut. I like the beard. Uh, pull up. Come talk to me. Come talk to me. Somebody said maybe I had a reaction channel with 500k. It wasn't a reaction channel. I was just uh, posting celebrity content. That's all I was doing. I wasn't even using my face really on there. So, but yeah, YouTube wasn't having it. I mean, they let me have it for a good, like three, four years, I think. And then eventually they took that shit. Yeah. So we had to move on to something else. Uh, oh, there's more questions I'm, I'm missing. Uh, Q, thank you for the $10. With all that you've currently learned about yourself and life experiences, what are some things you would tell your younger self? Yo, this is a question 
that people have asked me and I always feel like it's a weird question because I don't know. I think I've done shit the right way and I don't regret anything. And I don't know. I think what I did was fine. So I wouldn't really like give any type of advice to my younger self or I don't know. Is that bad? <laughs> Is that bad to think like, oh, what I did was fine. I'm, I'm fine with all the decisions I've made in my life. So, and, and I believe that some of the decisions I've made wouldn't allow me to be here where I am right now if I didn't make those decisions, even if they were bad. So, I don't know. I would tell myself, do the same. <laughs> do the same. It's probably a bad answer. Um, Trent. Trent be looking good. Trent. That beard, that sun on your face. Okay. Uh, hello, Melly. How is your day going today? It's going good. It's going good. Uh, besides the the girl canceling, the day the day was good actually. Oh, ah, kind of. I I had some bad news earlier during the day, so I had like to shake it off and uh, move on from from that news. But um, everything good. Everything good. I cannot complain. How was your day, Trent? Trent, hit me up. Um, DA just asking, why you get demonetized? Oh, I already answered that. Oh, there's some question I missed, I guess. Um, they're looking for a voice actor for people to... Shut up! <laughs> Are you done for with that joke? Three three comments to talk about that same joke? Enough. Uh, Kill Switch, I'm still waiting for you. Kill Switch, where you at? Um... My own world at the nightclubs. Who is getting the most bitches? The promoter, the DJ, or security? Explain your pick. Well, I worked in nightclubs, so I should know. Um, it depends. Okay, security is too busy. So, but I know some security guard. They were not doing shit. They were actually talking to bitches the whole night, and when shit would break down. Um, there would be nowhere to be found. So so I know they're getting bitches while well, they're not supposed to. The DJ, eh, no, the DJ, most of them, they be doing their set and then they go home. They don't even stay. They, they're too busy. They leave. So unless if it's a known DJ, then you got bitches regular, you know. But if you're a regular DJ, nobody knows you. You just come for an hour and leave. You don't get bitches like that. Um, the promoter. I mean, the promoter is the plug. So the promoter usually brings the bitches. And if he's good looking, I think it's, it depends on who is good looking to them. But the promoter seems like the person who makes the most money. Seems. So I think they go for the promoter. The promoter gets the most bitches. Um, promoter, definitely. Yep, see? Uh, the celebrity gets the girls. Yeah. But you can be, okay, security is not celebrity. The DJ can be celebrity. The promoter, some promoters are celebrity. So I guess um, the promoter, 100%. Okay. All right. Uh, you got another question? No. Well, thank you, Habiel Matende. Thank you. Um, let me see. We have... Melly, uh, where is your other friend that you went to Thailand with? She's pretty. She's hella pretty. Jennifer, she's going to be in Costa Rica. So if you want to meet her, come to Costa Rica, maybe. Maybe that's where you want to be. Uh, where she at? She lives in Atlanta. So uh, I went to uh, Carnival with her in Toronto, too. But yeah. Is Jennifer single? Interested in a long-term relationship. Yes, she is single. Yes, she only uh, dates people long term. So, so yeah, that's um, you should come. Maybe you can shoot your shot over there. What else? Um, all right, let me see. Some more questions. Oh, there is another question that came in first. Inspiration, the love you desire is still waiting for you. Keep believing because the love you desire is working in, your, in favor of you. Love, Melly. 
Well, thank you. Yes, the love I desire is on its way. Might be Trent or might be, uh, shit, what, what's his thing? Kill switch. Trent or kill switch, what's up? Are you willing to relocate for love? Hell yeah. I mean, I said, hell yeah. Please don't live in like some city where it's like boring, there is nothing to do, or it's like hella cold. Actually, the only cold cities I'm willing to do really are New York. New York, I do New York. Um, what's on the, that side? That's about it. New York. Um, I wouldn't really want to live in Miami, like all those party. I mean, I know there is more than just party in Miami, but I wouldn't really want to go over there. Um, another country, I for sure don't mind. But yeah, if, if it's good and there is a reason why we got to be there, not just like you got to make sense. If that's where you get your money, okay, I'll come because I can make money from anywhere. But if it's just like your preference, your hometown, and you don't want to leave and you live in a whack ass city, no. You got to move. Um, when you were dancing at the Blue Flame, <laughs> did you ever meet T.I.? Big head, you can have whatever you like. Wait, what are you talking about? I wasn't, since when? I was a stripper? That's news to me. When did that come out? <laughs> I love the confidence. <laughs> you say, when you were a stripper, uh, did you ever meet T.I.? Uh, I've met T.I., but not while I was a stripper, you know, that, no, not during those days. Afterwards, yes. Ah, shit, I lost my... Uh, um, yeah, but uh, no, you fucking funny. I never strip, <laughs> just to set the record straight, please and thank you. Melly at Blue Shame, I know, can you imagine me? You know I can't dance for shit, so you think I'm just like... No, I would look crazy. Who is going to hire me? Maybe it was a stripper. Here I go. No, I worked at the club, and I, um, I wasn't even a bottle girl. I was just a bartender. So that was great money, though. Uh, damn, Melly, you are so damn beautiful. One day I'm going to marry you, and our wedding will be in Kigali City. Where is Kigali? Is it in a... I know it's in Africa. Is it in Kenya? Is it is that Kenya? Let me let me look. You know, we can Google everything. Kigali City. Oh, I'm off. It's in Rwanda. Really? Wow. Okay, that's where you at? Rwanda. That's what I, yeah, that's it. Okay. Well, see, I learned something every day. Um well, thank you. I don't know how we're going to make that happen, but hey, you, you got to come to America first. You want papers? Because I can't give you papers. I mean, we're in the same boat. <laughs> I, I can't give them to you. Um, Rhonda, yes, thank you. See, I had to go look because I didn't know. Um, Melly, there is an amazing feminine, brilliant mind lady from Africa who deserves to come online now. If Melly will invite her. Adrian, what are, who is that? Who is that lady, Adrian? I'm spitting. Um, I know, right? Somebody says it's still dangerous. Yeah, because Rhonda. Oh, Jose is here. Is that Jose I just saw? I don't know. You guys typing fast. Uh, did you meet Tupac before you were born? Excuse me? <laughs> what are those questions? Jay boys, you don't make no sense tonight. What's wrong with you? Melly, are you willing to work for your husband? For free? <laughs> Is it free or do I have to quit my job? You, you need to explain. Explain to me that question. It's interesting. Tell me more. Emperor King City. Um, you might want to send it in the super chat because I might miss it, just so you know. Uh, but yeah, elaborate a little more. Working for my husband. Mm, interesting. Oh, I refuse to send a lady money online. It's against my religion. Okay, Kelvin. I, I got you. No worries. Um, wait, wait, wait. 
<laughs> you guys funny. Melly, did you stop masturbating since you say you don't jerk off anymore? Yeah, a long time ago though. It's not it's not new. That's not for me. Uh let me see. Stay in Indianapolis. No, I, I don't think I like it. Mm -mm. I went. It's it's just all right. What else I missed? Uh, I think that's it. That's all I found. So the girl didn't respond. So I, she didn't confirm because I said, should I count on you? And she didn't respond. Oh, wait, there's another girl talking about, hey, sorry, I'm just seeing this. What time? Can you come now? Hey, we might have a girl. Let me see. Let's see. She said, I'm just seeing your, your message, your DM right now. What time? Let's see. I said right now, I, we'll give her 15 minutes if, if she needs 15. Uh, well, Melly, did you dump daddy, your Kenyan boyfriend? No, I didn't dump him. He hasn't been back. I hope he's good. That's all I'm hoping for, that he's safe and sound in his country because we, we haven't heard of him in a long time. Um, excuse me. Some, you guys are fucking funny. Meli, can you send me some free Yeezy slides? I don't even get those. Like, I don't spend that much money for, for shoes. You crazy. How much are those slides? How much? I think it's too much. I would never, like never, unless somebody want to buy them for me. But that 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 would be it. Um, yeah, but come to daddy. We haven't heard from him in a while, so I just hope he's fine. Um, all right, let me see another question that people on Instagram sent me. Um, what country are you from? I'm from France. Uh, What? Why is it? Why is it hard for women to admit their faults? How did you come to your truth? I don't know. Um, Why well, it's hard? It's because bitches don't want to be taking accountability for nothing. They they want to be right. Uh, I think it hurts their their feelings to be wrong. I don't know. I don't know. It's weird. I don't care to be right. I mean, I care. <laughs> I care because I think I'm right. So it's just like, I'm going to tell you my point of view and shit. But um, how did I come to my truth? I mean, I'm not always like, you know, um, I don't know, maybe you guys think all the time because of the things I say that all the time I am, you know, that great person or whatever. Um, Sometimes, you know, it takes me a minute to realize, yo, you're tripping. Calm down. Shut the fuck up. You know, it takes me a minute. But um, I think most of the time I come to, to, my sense in a, to my senses and I'm like, yeah, you're tripping. Um, oh, wow. So, people are going all out. Talking about my mom now. Okay. Wait. You guys are just disrespectful tonight, huh? That, that's, that's what you feel. Asan, Asan, you say one more thing, you're going to get blocked. That's, that's all I got to tell you. Asan Campbell. Because you need to shut the fuck up at this point. Um, Asan talking about, I said pull up. <laughs> you you want to fight, Asan. You know, you're not going to fight me. You're going to fight a man that's going to come for you, and you're not even going to know he's coming for you. That That's who you're going to fight. So pretty much you're not going to fight. It's just going to be bad for you. That's all. Um no Moya Moya don't 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 be mad Moya stay stick a little uh a, a little longer maybe I found somebody she she might be coming soon so Moya stick around oh actually Moya if you're a girl why don't you come uh you realize fuck I respect that is French thing thank you uh I don't know if it's a French thing I know some American people who keep it a hundred 
somebody say uh, media as bodyguards. It's not so much bodyguards. It's people who fuck with me and they're not going to allow you to fuck with me like that. That's it. That's it. But you won't know it's coming, so you might want to chill. And you won't know it's from me either. You're just going to turn around and be like, what's going on? What's happening? Um, <laughs> I'm not saying none of that. Do not put words in my mouth. Oh, my God. Miss Natural. <laughs> no, he's retired from guns. He don't do that shit no more. Uh, many putting out knives. Let's fight in the bedroom, many. Yes, that's better. Take zero disrespect. Thank you. Um, yeah. Thank you, guys. You see, I fuck with you. You guys coming to the rescue. Um, all right, let me read another question for... I hope the girl comes. She's cute as fuck, too. All, all the two girls... It's two right now that are trying to come. They're cute as fuck. Um, you guys, girl shoots, not fight. You leave that man alone. Nobody, you don't need to go shoot nobody. Can you do a three minute video in French? Why? You're not even going to understand. Excuse me. Maybe uh, definitely got a few funny. No, I don't know what you're talking about. Um, Let me see. Oh my God, you guys. Many, what happened to Chris with the teeth? Uh, Chris who had braces? I don't know. Hey, you know, that's what it is though. Sometimes you have like people who fuck with you for a minute. I mean, not saying you don't fuck with me no more, but you know, you like a show, you come all the time and then you just disappear. It is just what it is. Cause it's a, it's a bunch of people. You guys remember uh, Romeo? Romeo used to come all the time and then no more. I don't know. I hope he's good. That's all I can hope for. Uh, do you think, like Vianna Dickerson, do you think black men are hurting the money you could be making online? Black men. Why? Why is it black men? You're talking for me, like in my, in my case, me. Um, I don't think black men are hurting my money. I know black men are giving me money too. Uh, I think the people who are mad about men giving me money are the ones who just need to shut the fuck up. I'm not going to say they're hurting my money, but they need to shut the fuck up. Uh, but I don't think it's black men are hurting my money. Hell no. I think black men support me. So, and not just black. I think there's all type of races who support me. Um, racist i don't know if that was racist but um oh my god you guys are attacking laviana she one of these self-loading black women who blame black men for everything city come on let's not attack um laviana i don't know um all right uh Let me see. I'm looking for another question. Uh, you have great emotional intelligence. Who was a big influence on you? Um, I think um, I think my parents, my parents, my friends. I think everybody I was around, you know, when I was growing up, my guy friends. Um, because they were showing me the dumb shit they were doing. So then it was easy for me to recognize what dumb was, you know? And um, my mom, you know, not letting people walk all over her. My stepdad being super strong and opinionated and stuff. Um, and then I guess my own experiences, you know, dating guys and, um, figuring out how I get played <laughs> and how to not get played no more, you know, just playing games and all that shit. How did you get into YouTube? Mm. I had um, a boyfriend who showed me. He told me we can make money. I say, show me. That's all you got to do. 
show me we can make money and I'm, I'm down. Um, so that's that. Let me see. Let me see if she responded. Not yet. Guys, I'm crossing fingers. Somebody is going to show up. Watch. Somebody is going to show up tonight. Uh, all right. Let's see what else. What other question? Oh, okay. I, I apologize, Hassan. <laughs> I guess I, I talked too quickly. Uh, Meli, I never said anything about your mother. I was talking to someone in the chat and I did not put your name in that message. Someone called me whack, so I said their mother is whack. Okay, well, I apologize for coming at you if you were not talking to me. Sorry. You know, people can be talking about my mom. I apologize, though. Um... Who else sent something? Twin78, thank you for the $5. If you weren't a social media superstar, ooh, that's a new title. I haven't heard this title. Uh, I don't think I am, but I appreciate you. What would you be doing and why? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know what I would be doing before getting really into social media. Oh, I was doing it at the same time. I was just bartending. So I, I cannot tell you. I would have found something else to make money. But I don't know. I, I said that, I think, last time. I never. I was never the one with, like, a dream career or, oh, I want to be that when I grow up or this and that. I was just like, yo, what can we do to make money? That's That's all I can do. That's all I want, make money. I know it sounds bad. <laughs> it sounds bad, but that's it. I'm willing to work. I'm willing to work 24 seven just to make good money. So um, I don't know what else. I don't want to work actually, now that I say that. I would be really fine being um, a housewife. I would be cool. Why work when you can be taken care of and you take care of the home and, the, and your men and your kids? I like that. But yeah, so I don't know what I would be doing. I would have found another hustle probably. Uh, David Johnson, thank you, Melly. You were the first to put me on game. You are awesome and are a genuine person. May great things continue to happen for you. Thank you, David. I appreciate you. <laughs> Sounds horrible, but we get it. Yeah, I'm sure you're about your money too. You want money, right? I don't care about the, the career. I don't care about the fame. I don't care as long as it makes money. And, and I said that the other day too, I, but I won't. Yeah, I need to say that again. Uh, I would not prostitute though. Like prostitution is not uh, one of the job I am willing to do. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. So says the man with a fucking Kamoto picture. So he's high value probably, huh? We, he's high value man. Belmore Holly. After doing this show on saying the things you say on here, no decent man will ever make you a housewife. You know what? I want to show it to you. I want to show you what's up. Uh, come back and give me four months. That, that's what people think. People think that I cannot do what I want. I will do what I want. If I want to be a housewife tomorrow, I can. That, that's what you're not understanding. Maybe I won't be with the, the men I really want. But if I want to be a housewife, trust me, I can be. So, Belmore, with that fat camel toe, you need to shut the fuck up. Because, oh, are you a woman, actually? Mm. Are you a woman? Pew, pew, what the <laughs> we're killing people tonight, huh? <laughs> yes, Ari, we're killing people. Um, exactly. He is a troll. Broly he has a camel toe as a profile picture. Exactly. Please, you need to shut the fuck up. Uh, Melly, what did you want to be when you grew up? Oh, somebody just asked. I don't know. I didn't want to be nothing. I wanted to make my... Okay, when I was younger, let, let me try. Because I don't remember when I was young, young. I don't remember shit. Uh, but I was just playing sports. I was doing three sports, gymnastics, 
um, track and field and volleyball. So I was just playing sports, but I never put in my head, oh, I want to be pro or anything. That wasn't even a thing. I wanted to play at a high level, but never like, oh, I want to get paid for it. That wasn't really my mentality. Um, yes, yeah, so what did I want to be? I don't fucking know. Nothing. I think that's kind of why I came to America, because I was like, I don't want to work yet. Let me go to school in America and see what's up, you know? So... Um, so yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to be nothing really. She was freak. <laughs> First of all, learn how to speak fucking English. I know me telling you learn how to speak English is wild, but uh, she was freak <laughs> when she was younger. I really wasn't. So I know people asking me, where is the guest? Um, Umeli, what event did you run in track? I was a hurdler, 100, 200, 400 meters. Damn, girl, 400, never. I would be done after 150 meters. I don't have the stamina to, to run long like that, even if it's not long, but long, uh, it's long enough for, the, um, for how fast you need to go. I couldn't do that one. So I did the 100, I did the hurdles, that was uh, 110, right? Uh, hurdles, I did uh, the combine, and what else? Well, in the combine, it's almost everything in it. So, so yeah, that's what I did. Uh, let me see. They didn't respond. Guys, it's 10 o'clock over there. They didn't respond. So uh, this show is more alive than when girls were present. Oh, well, I appreciate you. I still hope uh oh uh, that they're coming people coming at me says probably boring then hey sure sure it's boring it's boring um with those legs you should have made the olympics uh i was good but not enough <laughs> you know that that's what it is not enough uh, she's a runner. She's a track, a, a track star. You guys, funny. Uh, what else? Did I miss some question? Oh, yeah, there is. Um, Think Space LLC. Thank you for the $10. What can you do to balance the automatic pineappling if the girl likes the person? The wealthy dudes pineapple what seems to be good folks too much, i.e. Grayson. We need more balance and fairness. I don't know. It's tough. Uh, I mean, I was thinking about, um, but I don't know if people are going to go for that. Uh, if you go and get, um, what's it? If I create like a membership for the, for, so if you want to come and shoot your shot and you know you come often, you buy yourself a membership where you cannot get pineapple by anyone. You know, that's like immunity. You can do that, but I know not everybody is going to want to do that. Or um, the only thing was you you counterpay, but then it takes too long for you to go and counterpay or whatever. Like it's just it's difficult. So until until then, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, somebody say pay more money. Yeah, yeah, pay more money. That's a good idea. Yeah, the membership. I don't know if uh, people are gonna be going there. Uh, you laughed and was about to talk about how much of a freak you are. That was funny as hell, but you didn't, uh, wasn't to sound like a hoe. I assume not saying you are either. Sex is sex. It doesn't matter. No. <laughs> no, I mean, I didn't stop because I thought it would make me sound like a hoe. I just didn't feel like going into it. That's it. I was like, think what you think. Sometimes I give the time and I answer. And sometimes I'm just, eh, it's not. It's not worth it. Fuck that membership only. I got his edge fitness. Fuck out of here, big guys. Oh, okay. So <laughs> some people don't like me. What, what I don't understand about the internet is that you have the choice, you know, to not watch somebody. You have the choice. So why do you come to not like the person and you're watching? So I feel like you actually like me probably and you're just mad. You're mad that you know you have no chance to get close to me, like zero. Because if you don't like me, you don't got to be here. 
Irk, irk. Like, the fuck is that? Anyway, and then let me not talk about that profile picture because, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to be that, that mean person tonight talking about how you look. Even with the hat, I can roast you. So that's not a good look, I think. Um, but yeah, we, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll leave you alone, Eric. This is this is crazy though. Like it's the same on on internet uh, on Instagram, people commenting and hating and blah blah blah, but you don't gotta be here. So why you here? You entertain, I guess. There's something that you like. <laughs> You're gonna shoot in Walmart. What? What you talking about? Um, what else? Wait. Fuck. I've you guys are going too fast. See, the chat is coming for you, Urk. He's <laughs> too small. Urk got that evil testosterone messing with his emotions. Something, humble queen. Humble queen, you're hot as hell. Ma'am, you need to come to the show right now and be the girl for tonight. That's what you need. Wear those fake jeans. Uh, what is that behind the counter? It's a jaw, like over there. It's a, it's a jaw. Uh, what else? You heard that joke. Uh, okay, you guys are out of control. 50% of the content is the chat just the way the internet is nowadays. I understand, but you can make jokes, you know, but you don't got to be kind of like hateful. You don't got to do all of that. Stop talking about that lame. Hey, it's entertaining. He's at the grocery... <laughs> Yeah, he's in the grocery yeah, for sure. Um, let me see. Melly, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing great. I don't think we're going to have a show. The girls are not coming. I apologize, guys. That is what we have. Um, let me see if I see another question from you. Um, for sure, the chat is king. My chat is king. Exactly. Yeah, somebody mad. Um, <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> okay. Ooh. See, I don't even need to roast you. You come here, coming for me for no reason. And just from that one picture, they're going to come for you. He's shopping for pineapples. Um Let's see. Erk, you still here? Erk. Erk. Oh, Erk is here. Me to all you pussy. <laughs> Erk, you man. Erk, come on. Don't be like that. You know, it's a it's a friendly exchange over here. Um oh, thank you, Robert. That's very nice of you. Maybe you never have to apologize for the guest flaking. I mean, it's my show, you know. I'll I be trying to make it happen. And um, sometime, I mean, she didn't flake. She told me an hour and a half before. But, um, but yeah, I, 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 I couldn't replace her. You went on lunch break. Uh, all right. Um, in the tissue section, wipe your eyes down. Little Eric in the back aisle, jacking off. Um, okay, we're gonna leave Eric alone. Eric sound like an herb. <laughs> I don't fucking know. Um, backup. Plan A, B, C, D, and E, Melly. I cannot have those girls on standby. Like, girls want to do the show or not. It's not, I cannot tell, you know, we're not on that level where I'm like, oh, yeah, I'm going to have two girls. You might not go on, and we'll see. Like, no, I don't want to do that shit. Have you heard from Greg lately? I haven't. I haven't. I think he came, how long ago? Maybe three weeks ago? We'll say, maybe. And then nothing. Nothing more. Uh, did Eric respond? I know we say we're leaving him alone. Um, 
Many, how tall are you? I'm six feet. Uh, okay, Eric left, I think. Okay, Eric, we apologize. Oh no, Eric is here. He's here. He's laughing. He's having a great time. I was like, is that one of the girls? No, it's not. Sorry. It is not. Uh, what else? <clears throat> We're going to leave. We're going to go, I think. I don't think they're coming. Let me see. There is more questions that I, I missed, actually. Um, shit, what? Uh, wait, did I miss all of this? Uh, Melly, Brenda, your best friend from South Africa, is online. Please invite her, please. Okay, I'm going a, I'm to a add Brenda. Oh, well, as soon as she, you said that, her name disappeared. She's not here no more. Bring Jada Gunter back to the show, Melly. Okay, I'll try. I'll reach out. Melly going to be fine as fuck once she learns how to speak English and retires from King of Diamonds and Stroke. DA, first off, I speak English. Don't play with me. And second, I don't work at the strip club. Stop it. Melly, thank you, Obembe. Uh, Melly, when, uh, why, I guess? Yeah. Why don't you have Babette Lendo on the Pineapple Show? She's from Paris and lives in the USA. Google her. Okay, I'll, I'll check her out. Um, Melly Guest is making things right with her ex. Maybe, Patrick, you might, you might be right. Uh, just use a, the strike system, three paid pineapple, and you're out. What do you mean? So somebody, if they send three pineapples, they're done? No. I want them to be able to keep on pineapple people. Uh, Melly, I have to be blunt. Where is the lazy hoe? Oh, wow. <laughs> Kiana, who should be on tonight? Wow. You guys are so aggressive. You know, if there is a girl that's watching this, she will never want to come on the show because you guys talk so crazy. Uh, okay, so I read those questions. Yes. Uh, well, Brenda left, so, I, so sorry. I, I made her way too long. Uh, let me see if I have one more question and then we're out because, yeah. Somebody said, Melly, don't go, please. Why? You guys are entertained with just, with just this? Um, at least uh, Melly get your beauty rest. Yes, you know. I'll be sleeping, though. Maybe I don't look like it, but I'll be sleeping. Oh, okay. A take want to apologize now after talking all that mess. I took some mushroom by accident. A take, you're always on one. So I don't believe that fake ass excuse. All right, let me see. A few more questions. I said one. Um, I don't know that question. This is a weird question. I don't know if I understand it, but uh, hey, whatever. I'll, I'll read it. Could single and lonely be the same or comparable? Mm, no, because I don't believe that everybody who is single is lonely. Some people actually enjoy being single. They see the people when they, they want to see them. They fuck when they want to fuck, and then they're just single. They're just not in a relationship. So no, I wouldn't say it's... Um, I wouldn't say it's comparable, no. Um, okay, how tall are you? I'm a girl and my boyfriend doesn't make me wet. Ooh, that sucks. Uh, I don't know, tell him, have you told him what you like? You gotta tell him what you like. I mean, I know everybody would prefer that he would know what to do, but if he doesn't, you gotta tell him, tell him. Or is it because is it because he doesn't know what he's doing, or is it because you don't like him like that no more, or you're not attracted? Like I need I need more. Um, yeah, somebody said it too. All right. Um, wait, <laughs> you get to lick it before you stick it. I mean, but that's not the real way, though. If for me to get wet is because you lick me, but really I'm not producing my own wetness. It's a problem. I need to produce my own wetness because just licking 
eventually it's going to get dry if it was just your saliva, you know? Um, somebody say, is it because she's frigid? I don't know. And she, she didn't ask me, she didn't explain. So, sorry. Uh, what else? I'm trying to find a good last question. Let me see. Is there something here? Nope. All right. Um, would you like to learn to scuba dive? I would, but I'm kind of scared. Because it's, it's weird. So I know how to swim, but I'm kind of scared of the ocean, kind of. But I, I went and uh, was, what was the thing I did? Snorkeling. I went and did snorkeling. But... Um, but then thinking about it, I'm like, this is wild. Especially when I went snorkeling in the Maldives and um, they just, we took the boat and they dropped us in the middle of the ocean. And they're like, yeah, this is the spot. Uh, I did that uh, over there and in uh, Cancun. So, but then afterwards, when you think about it, you're like, yo, this is wild. It can be anything coming for you. You don't fucking know. And I mean, there is no running. There is no running away. It's done. So... Um, yeah. And then the whole breathing thing under the water, I was already worried about the, just the, um, the snorkeling. So all the way down, I don't know. I don't know. I, I would be, I would be a little scared, I think. Why is so many people asking me, what size do you prefer? Small, tiny. That's what I like. Uh, advice for guys with low average, uh, packages okay well uh it's below average it's small small tiny um well it's not bad i mean okay let me not lie <laughs> it's not if you have micro like i say all the time you're on your own i, I can't i mean you can still save yourself you know you can use toys you can insert the toy as the same time as you're inserting your dick, but we're not going to feel no dick because there is no dick. So um, toys are your friends. Um, also, I remember somebody was telling me, you know, that they were below average and they would give that um, disclaimer to the girl. I'm like, why are you giving fucking disclaimer? There is no disclaimers to be given. You just got to make it good. A girl is never going to come back to her girlfriend and be like, and like you made her come and everything. She's never going to come back and you have a small dick. She will never come back to tell her girlfriends, yo, his dick was small. No. She'd be like, yo, he fucked me so good. That was so good. I need, I didn't need more. You know, she's never come and talk about your shit unless you break up and she's petty. That's when she's going to talk about your dick. But if you can make it happen, you, you'll be fine. So I'm saying make sure she, she gets hers first. So make sure you know how to use your mouth because some people don't want to use it. Uh, make sure you know how to use your mouth. Make sure you know how to use your fingers. Don't be scared of fucking toys because at this point, if your dick is small, they're here to help you. Um, what else? Fucking talk to her. Find what works for her. I know a bunch of girls are like, oh, he needs to have a big dick, but it's not even true because a bunch of bitches cannot take dick. So, yeah, you, you're fine. Uh, <laughs> really, is it that bad, bro? Hey, don't be making fun of people with uh, with smaller dicks because it's not it's not that bad. Don't even like think it's bad. It's you and your confidence. If you act like you got a big dick. I'm not going to realize your dick was small if you please me. I mean, I might see it and be like, ah, oh, okay. But as long as I was pleased, I do not care. So, yes, I would say toys, a lot of head. So she comes plenty of times. So then when the dick goes in, if she don't come from the dick, she's fine because she already came several times. That's the key. Make sure she comes. Um, everybody asking me, where is the girl? The girl is not here. The girl not coming. Or I tried, but she, she might not come. Or somebody might come. We'll see. Uh, foreplay is the key. That's what somebody say, yeah? Um, 
So what's seven inches? Well, we talked about it the other day. Seven inch is too big for me. And uh, they said the average is six. So you're good. If you got seven, you don't got to worry about it, I think. Um, I think. You better get a job like Grayson. Why me? Me? I don't know. Um, this was, thank you, Twin78. This was a great show tonight. Well, I appreciate you. That wasn't how it was supposed to be. At least we didn't have to see and hear from members from Team Jordans as the chat who they are. Team Jordans, who are you? And I love you. Thank you, Life with E.H. I think. <laughs> I'm always saying I think. Um, no, that's nobody. Uh, all right, one more question. Ari, what you're laughing about? Many in the chat, do you all watch the recap of the pineapple show? Uh, well, the chat or me? Like, who are you asking? I don't think, I don't know. Uh, but, oh, so Jose is here. Okay. Jose has been quiet lately. Many, you're six feet tall and no way seven inch inches is too big for you. See, that's what you guys don't be knowing. You be thinking that being tall equals big pussy or long pussy. I don't know what you're thinking, but it, it don't go the same. I'm telling you, those little girls, little like short girls, be the one who can take a dick. You should know better. You should know more than me. Oh, I see Brenda. I got you, Brenda. Um, you guys should know more than me. I don't know why you would be acting like, no, tall doesn't equal long pussy. The fuck? Uh, Melly, will you ever do another critic show? <laughs> yes. Yes, uh, we will. We will. Um, I don't know. We got to see when Baby God is available, I guess. And um, and we, we can do another one. We can. Um, I place people in timeout, not Melly. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Jose. See, Jose is doing his job. Wait, you guys are missing a conversation. Your upstream components matters. Uh, well, see, Alisa has a has a different thing. But if you if it's not thick, thick, use the toy. Use the fucking toy. Big pussy is a damaged pussy. <laughs> Been around the world now. I don't know if that's what it means because I thought it retracts and go back to regular. Is the skinny ones exactly? I told you. Somebody agrees with me. Um, bring your friends from friends, Nadej. Oh, I might tell her to come to uh, Costa Rica, actually. Why not? Okay, Team Jordans, Yam, Rick, Ignore, Greg, Chad, Chandler, Cold Mars, Sleepy Season, Hot Boy. Why are they Team, team Jordans? I don't fucking know what Team Jordans mean now. Um, still, I looked it up. I, I still don't understand. Uh, Skinny ones like a large Sharpie. <laughs> okay, Alicia. See, we got girls in the chat and you guys don't come to save me tonight. Why? Why you didn't come to save me? She is a freak, like a circus animal. Who is a freak? Who are you talking about? Um, you guys. All right, let's see. We got Brenda. Let's see what, what Brenda... Um, what Brenda talking about. Brenda. Hello. Hello. Show me your face. Hello. Hello. How are you? are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. It's so funny. I thought about you today and I was like, oh, I haven't seen Brenda on the show for a while. And here you are. <laughs> I haven't seen. Yeah. You at work? Yeah, I'm at work. You, you know, can... I'm only on your I'm only on your when I'm at work. Yes. Yeah, cut my hair. Cut your hair. I like it. Yeah. So what's up? What's new? Nothing much. Just working. I have two puppies now. You didn't have enough with one? Mm -mm. I needed a check, Russell. I got a check, Russell, now. You're going to what? I got a check, Russell. A Jack Russell? Yes. That's a big one, right? No, that's the small ones. Oh, shit. Let me go look. See, I don't even fucking know about dogs. Okay. Yeah. How's baby? 
Oh yeah, that's small. Okay. Uh, baby girl, she's over there sleeping as usual. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. So how is things going? Uh, everything going good. I can't complain. Any, any new travels coming up? Uh, I don't know. I was trying to go somewhere in September. I'm not sure if I'm going anymore. Uh, but then I have Costa Rica in November. That's yeah, it. That's a, that's a, that was some, in, uh, some island near Africa. Yeah, I was supposed to go to Zanzibar. But, uh, oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> yeah, so we'll see. We'll see what happens with that. But yeah. Okay, my birthday is coming up in September. It feels, it feels like it's gone so gone by so fast. It was just like yesterday. It's really my party again. Yeah. When? What day is it? Seventeen. The seventeen. Okay. Oh, cool. Uh, that's really soon. Yeah. Okay. What you gonna do for your birthday? Mm, it's my working week. I'm working. Take off. I can't take off because the girl that's all she's also it's also her birthday with the one who I take off and she'll cover for me. It's also her birthday. He's born the day before me. Mm-hmm. Oh damn. Okay. Well, yeah. Hopefully, hopefully you'll have some fun at work. Yeah, I will I'll have I'll have some fun when I get home. I'm like, what day is it on? Is it on a pineapple? No, it's a Sunday. Okay. So no pineapple show. Yeah. No, right. no. Well, we'll see. Hopefully I I'll talk to you before that. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, I'll talk to you soon then. Okay. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Brenda is so funny. Why some of you say Brenda be getting more bitches than you guys on the on the show? I'm done. Um, let's see. <laughs> I'm done. You guys are out of control. Uh, Conceptual Elixir LLC. Greetings, Queen. Thank you. Hello. Uh, DA just asking, many and lying, those four eleven women be throwing like Tom Brady in the Super Bowl. I'm telling you, then them some more girls. I don't know how it's it's taking it. Uh, uh, Royal T. If you could have dinner with any historical figure, who would it be and why? Hmm. I don't know. Um, it, it, I'm not going to answer the question. I, I'm going to say I'm going to have dinner with Tupac. I know it, it sounds crazy. But <laughs> I would like to have dinner with Tupac because I, I want to hear his thoughts and how he saw the world and how he was so aware even back then. I don't know. Maybe that's that's a weird answer, but hey. Uh so seven inches and seven inch thick around. Excuse me, the fuck is that? That's not possible. <laughs> like, where are you going with the seven inch thick around? Are you crazy? What is that? I'm trying. I don't even know. It's. I'm looking for stuff in my house that are big like that. Are you crazy? No, sir. The fuck. Um, that that would be dangerous. Nobody is gonna take that, I don't think. Uh, Melly says, yeah, I can say it. Circumference, again, yeah, uh, what, did I do good? I don't know. Uh, Q, after the Costa Rica trip is uh, successful, do you have another specific country in mind? No, not really, because um, on those, what I do is I, I have a survey, so I put the survey out and then you guys, whoever takes the survey is pretty much, uh, are pretty much the people who decide where we're going. So Costa Rica was the number one destination. So I was like, okay, let's do Costa Rica. It's not too far for most people. And I was like, I think that that's a good destination for, um, you know, something warm, beaches and stuff. So I think that was a good one. Um, but yeah. Oh wait, we got we got. <laughs> I know, right? Salami. They have a name for that. That no, that's not salami. Is not even because salami is like maybe thick like this. He says seven inch, so I'm like more than that. Who is taking that? Are you fucking? You can't have that. Come on. Um, no. No. Let's see. Chips is here. Hey, chips. 
Hey, Melly, what's up? What's up? How are you? Fine, fine. What happened today? Uh, she's not here. She flaked. Pretty much. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I got, um, I, I want to entertain you guys. So I got cased. I got cased missing you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Are you ready, Melly? Mm-hmm. Okay. Ooh. Are you ready? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Oh, no. Something terrible happened today. She's not here. <laughs> Why? Come on. I see you. Let's go. Sitaris. Chemistry. Standing here looking at my window. <laughs> my nights are long and my days are cold because I don't have you. How can I be so damn demanding? I know you said that it's over now, but I can't let go. Every day I want to pick up the phone. I tell you that you're everything that even more. If only I could find you like a cold summer afternoon, like a snow coming down in June, like a wedding without a groan. I miss you. I'm the desert without the sand. You're the woman without a man. I'm the ring without a hand. I'm missing you. Driving to the sun, you pass me. My rapid mirrors play tricks on me because you paint away. Maybe I'm just hallucinating. Cause my loneliness got the best of me. I'm a hurt so weak. I didn't want to be after the fall. I tell you that you're everything and even more. If only I could find a cool summer afternoon, like a snow coming down in June, like a wedding without a groom. I miss you I'm the desert without the sand You're the woman without a man I'm the ring without a hand I miss you I miss you <laughs> Yeah, what's up? Yeah. Well, I yeah. appreciate you Thank you so much, Chips Melly, you know yeah. I always finish with something Oh. I got all this out of order of affirmation for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you want that? Mm -hmm. Okay, Melly. I know of a woman who has a contaminated her. She has 30% worried, stressed out over her job, 20% bitterness, mad at her neighbors, 15% guilt, beating herself up for past mistakes, 5% jealousy, her co worker is more beautiful than her. You realize that 70% of our herd is already contaminated with a lot of negatives. So guys, leave no space for bitterness. Leave no space for worry. Leave no space for guilt. Stress out over your job. Go get a new one or persevere because no condition is permanent. Mad at your neighbor. Go reconcile with your neighbor. Your neighbor is there to watch your back. Life is too short to live about carrying grudges. Beating yourself up for past mistake. Do better next time. Nobody's perfect. Remember, failure is not the end. It's an opportunity to start again, this time more intelligent. Your coworker is more beautiful than you are. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But first and foremost, you need to exercise to get in shape. And secondly, maybe you add some more makeup. Even though natural is still the best to me. So guys, Go be your best. Be the best version of yourself. I wish you all the best. I see you at the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much, Chips. Yeah, yeah. I hope. Yeah. Thank you, Melly. No problem. Yeah. I'll see. You, I'll see you Wednesday. Wednesday, I'll be there. Yeah. All Take right. Care. You too. Bye bye. <laughs> bye.
Yeah. Um, all right, we out. We out. You guys are fucking funny. Some people were like, oh, the view count is uh, dropping <laughs> because she is singing. <laughs> you guys ain't shit. Oh, somebody's sending money. Mr. Humble, thank you so much for the $10. No question. Okay. Well, I appreciate you. Um, I had no idea you were a stripper. I am not Pablo, Pablo Chicano. I am not. I was never. You stop it. Um, who the fuck is stupid? <laughs> I know you guys were making fun of me. Yo, I got an accent. Leave me alone. The rapper. Leave me alone. Yes, it's Tupac. <laughs> Somebody said, <laughs> somebody said, is it two pack of cigarettes? <laughs> like, do I say it that bad that it don't sound like, how you say it? I don't know. You guys are confusing me. You're going to get me self-conscious about my accent. Um, well, thank you for the $5, Life with A.H. Uh, Melly, what are good hotels in your area for vacation? Uh, I don't know. I, I really don't know because I don't go to them. I have my place. So I, I cannot recommend some uh, good uh, good hotels for you. Sorry. Um, oh, well, so somebody came back on. Uh, no chill, girl. He, he got nothing to say but throwing money. Thank, thank you. I'll take it. I appreciate it. I'll go get dinner on you. Thank you. Um, all right, I, we're done. We're done for tonight. Oh, thank you. That's a nice last message. You are a beautiful person. Thank you. Um, Ari. <laughs> Ari, I'm going to send you some. Um, mm -mm, people are still coming for girl. Guys, why do you care about another man giving me money. I, I never understood that. Why you guys are mad when men send me money? Why? They support me, they support the show, and that's how it works. What, what is the problem? Girl corny as hell. I don't think so. So it is what it is. Uh, Miss Natural, Melly, your accent is beautiful. It's who you are. Thank you. I have somewhat of an accent too. Embrace that shit. I mean, you know I'd be embracing it, but it's just there. It's still clowns coming for me. Uh, exactly. Mr. Umbo, thank you. Mr. Umbo supports me too. Um, not your girl is goofy. All right. If you say so. Um, all right, we out. Guys, I appreciate you. Hopefully, uh, the girl for Wednesday, she already said yes, she would be here. But the same happened with the girl for today. She did say she would be here and told me at 4.30 that she, she can't. So, so that's it. Uh, it's a simpish behavior. Explain to me how it's simpish. I provide a service. I entertain. I'm here spending some of my time with you. So how, why you want to judge someone for giving me money? It's, I, I, I don't get it, but hey. Uh, somebody said, Mehdi, are you buying round for uh, Costa Rica? A round in, of course. We can drink, like that, that's nothing. Um, over there, I think it's cheaper too, so yeah. I'll buy some rounds, you guys need to come. Look. Uh, Rayshon, the whole night, has been trying to uh, send his question. Uh, Melly, did Gil smash yet? No. No. Okay. Um, and Ari answered the question, uh, why you guys are hating on other men who are sending me money? Because they ain't got the funds. Ari said it. Here it is. Um Oh my God, again, you see, see, some more hate. Oh, it's the same, it's the same motherfucker. Wait, no, I thought it was the girl. The girls didn't respond, we're already out. Um, what you say, she buying that round with your super chat anyway, why not? CD, shut the fuck up. CD, that, that's what you need to do. 
All right, we're out. We, we're really leaving. I appreciate you guys. I'm sorry it was no show. I thought she would come, like that another girl would come, but it didn't happen. Uh, Wednesday, we all really going live. I, I have some people. I have a girl. Don't worry. I got you for Wednesday for real. Uh, same time, 6 p.m., 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, exactly. Jose be telling them to stop hating chat that's feminine. Chill. Yeah, very. <laughs> I really want to kill everyone. Pew, pew. Uh, yep. We're living. Yes, I, I've been saying it, but we are living. I appreciate you guys. I hope I see you Wednesday. If I don't see you Wednesday, I hope I see you next week. But you have a great week. All right. Good night. <laughs>